Yeah, hi there from Kent, where the mayor and even the governor of our state have declared today May 3rd to be Carrie Thompson Day. But who is Carrie? I know from growing up and watching the Three Stooges that calling someone a chowderhead is rarely a compliment, unless they've been doing it for 50 years. So today is the 50th anniversary of Kerry Thompson. He started working for Ivers in 1972, and today he becomes the longest tenure employee of the company. Not only has he been with the company for a long time, he actually cooked for Iver. He did. He started at the fish bar, Iver's original location down on Pier 54. After four years, he was promoted into Acres of Clams, where he was a cook. And the highlight for him every day was making Iver's meal. That's really good. 50 years, same place. 50 yeah, years. Not, absolutely. I worked in his Acres of Clams kitchen. Uh, those were really fun days. It was so exciting. Oh, Iver's here, Iver's here. You know, he'd be, you know, popping in and out, you know. Ivers is totally Seattle. There is nothing more Seattle than Ivers. And so uh, I'm very proud to be part of the history of Ivers and history of Seattle. I am told before there was facial recognition software, it was Kerry. We have natural intelligence, and that's natural intelligence through Kerry. He recognizes everybody. He knows everything about people. On a Friday night, people won't even go up to the counter They'll come in the front door, wave at Kerry, and 10 minutes later, he'll bring their food to their table and then interchange with them. This is a, a neighborhood restaurant, so I know almost everybody that comes in the restaurant. I've made it my business to get to know them on a one-to-one -one -to -one basis. The governor, Jay Inslee, has declared it Kerry Thompson Day in Washington State. I really can't uh, take it all in because it's just such an honor that's just, I, I can't even express it, but I am so grateful.